trying to catch some fish in the dark here. I'm trying to fish. <laughs> okay, let me try to get a light here so we can see something. Where's my flashlight? There it is. Hello, people. Salut les gens. Welcome. Jeltes here. Hope you guys are doing great today. Iced. So I'm in my tent right now. Surviving iced. Now, um, what to say. Let's start with... I wouldn't show you... I wouldn't make a video if I didn't enjoy it. So I did enjoy this game, guys. But note that there's very little content. Um, I'm just going to... Yeah, this is, I want to fish here. So... The, over, the overall reviews of this game are very mixed, uh, not necessarily positive, because why? Because I think there's v very little content in this game, and it's a bit too expensive, that's why. Uh, I think that the game should be a bit cheaper, and things would, you know, be better. It's also apparently not, from when... From what I understand it, it's not a early access. They did come up already with a patch because there are bugs. Uh, there are really good things about this game, but there are also bugs. And I'm hoping that the devs will keep on, you know, fixing stuff. And they are talking about a future DLC, so... Yeah. The menu. So, on the right, you got your tent menu. On the left, you got your backpack. On the bottom is what you're carrying. And then you got your HUD with your, you know, your body warmth, your mental health, your life, your strength slash stamina bar, which is really awesome because it can take a beating and, you know, not only lose some when you're running. Um, I found this bar really interesting. It's really well made. And then water and food. So you got your five basic necessities. I love it. Or six. <laughs> six, sorry. I forgot the life. And then your overall life, you know, condition. Um, yeah. So I caught a couple of fishes here. Let's try to... This is what I really enjoy about this game is the animations. And that's where I think they had to price it up a bit. Because as you can see, I am now gutting my fish. And you can really see it. He's really gutting them one by one, and now I'm getting a bit fainted because I'm really, really tired. But we're going to eat first. So now that I fish, gut my fish, we are now going to cook it so we can then eat it. I'm also going to have a drink here. You even have an animations for the drink. Look at that. Put my bottle away, put the cap back on. That's awesome. I love that. I'm a, I am love immersion, and the more of that, the more it is, the, the better for me. And uh, let's turn it on. <coughs> no, not all the way, just halfway, so we have a nice cooking going here. We are going to get to eat some nice warm fish tonight. Isn't that awesome in our tent? Um, yeah, I will also want to mention, don't forget, this is a mini survival game. It's under $15, so, you know, it's it's not a $20 game, That's just, but it's, you know, it depends how much time you play it. There's also... Um, mini games while you sleep kind of like nightmares you get a mini game every time you sleep you can turn that off or on i turned it off to leave, let you discover that it's kind of out of context of the game you're out there like throwing snowballs at zombies and stuff it's kind of weird but you know it's a it's a little game that you play while you sleep or not and uh yeah so why not but i uh <coughs> i'll let you discover that um we're gonna eat all our fish and we get an animation for that as well so as you can see it's not too short I mean it's not too long not too quick it's perfect he just takes a couple bites and eats it I love that I find that perfect you know really love that I love that uh, immersion side of things and now we're we are going to turn off our flashlight and go to sleep and you'll notice it's kind of like the long dark you'll see the time on the top left you know pass by and unfortunately you do get your stamina strength and mental health uh, re-raised you get it back but it doesn't affect the other condition that's the thing I, sh I think they should tweak and add it should affect your food and water um, I don't I I I don't know if they're gonna you know uh, tweak more survival stuff I hope they are uh, yeah now I'm gonna put my hood on as you can see I get a you get an option in the menu just for that just to uh, put uh, you know put on and off your hood which should technically keep you a bit warm if you have on on your head so yeah it's a beautiful day uh, yeah I'm gonna go yeah it's a bottle of water here I can't drink it because it's it's frozen 
It's realistic. I gotta keep it on me by my body or put it back in the tent so it, 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 it unfreezes and then I can drink it. I love those little survival touches. I can walk, I can crouch, I have a full body, I can jump, I can, as you can see, even got an animation right off the bat for your flare gun. Let's run a bit here. No, I mean, it's pretty, they took another approach where there's less uh, exploration or, or, you know, long-term content, but there's a very rich short content, you know, if I may say. So yeah, uh, let's go back inside because I noticed that my flare wasn't reloaded. Put these... Oh no, it was. Okay, it's already warmed up. That's cool. I thought it took longer than that. <laughs> um, now I can recharge my flare gun. I left it in the tent because the the ammo for the flare gun was humid, you know, it was wet. So I had to dry it up so so that when I shoot it, it actually works. Like I said, it's a question. Of, the survival seems to be a question of timing and not of time. So yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna jump in the water right now. So I think that's the moon over there. Right? I'm not sure. I'm gonna jump in the water because. It's a competition to survive. There's actually a uh, st online stats that you can try to beat. Um, I'm gonna try to do that, but it's already a bit too late for this run. I didn't quite understand the uh, the points yet, the the, the points attrib attribution. Um, but yeah, uh, I've enjoyed myself with this game. Like I said, it's it has uh, the devs are working on a DLC where you're apparently you'll be able to survive on land, so that can be something. And like I, as you can guess, I'm thinking this game has potential. So let's see where they're going with it. Uh, it might be a bit expensive right now, but I recommend keeping an eye on it. Uh, I do enjoy it, and with a, uh, you know, with a bit more content, uh, maybe a, a little tweak, a fix here and there. Uh, maybe why not add uh, eventually hunting stuff like that? I think it could be really interesting. So I thought I'd share it with you, and I hope you enjoy. It. I'm gonna go jump in the water now <laughs> because uh, it's gonna give me an idea of how many points I'm gonna get with. The oh. <laughs> As you can see, the jumping can be awkward. You gotta get used to it, but no, yeah, it's good. I did it on purpose. Little details that I love about this game is, look, you're in a blizzard and you can't see anything, but you put your your little, your little glasses on, your snow glasses on, wow, and it becomes way clearer. And on the other hand, if you forget to take them off, little stripes will, will you know, start forming on them and will annoy you and remind you to take them off and you'll have a better, clearer day. <laughs> so yeah. So on top of the really immersive animations that I really enjoy in this game, there's more important things like the core of the game to me, which is the stats indicators. You get six of them. They're all useful in theory. Uh, I think the game needs to tweak them a bit, fix a bug here and there, maybe get them a bit more useful. But I love this type. I think it, you got everything to for a perfect survival scenario. I love this approach. And uh, yeah, I hope they take it further, but I'm really not sure. So I finished a, a, a run, managed to finish one. And apparently if you finish, if you survive in a basic way a run, you'll end up around 10th position. I'm guessing there's a lot of players in around in 10th position. Uh, I'm not sure yet what helps you get more points to get a better position. Uh, feel free to share with me if you got a better spot if you, if you played this game. This was Iced. I hope you enjoyed. Thought I'd take a bullet for you guys. I think uh, it's it has potential. There's a DLC that's supposed to come out. Maybe check it out at that point. Not a lot of content right now. Keep that in mind. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the time with me. Thank you very much for being here. I read all your comments and try to reply within a week or two. Thank you all, people. Um, take care. Remember to have fun in life. Take care. And I hope to see you on the next one. Jelta's out.